yellow. What the tits is cracking, ladies and gentlemen? We are finally back in the gosh dang dip room, man. It's been freaking forever since I've been in this gosh dang room making a freaking midget, man. So, uh, I reckon it's been probably like, I don't know, probably over a couple months, man. So I'm excited to be back up in this uh, bitch. And I got a couple videos coming from you uh, this next week from this room. I got something cool today that I think a lot of you mother truckers out there didn't even know it was out. Rocking the red man hat today, especially for this gosh dang occasion. And that occasion, ladies and gentlemen, is camouflage red man. Look at this, man. They got camo red man out this hunting season. Usually it's Copenhagen. Sorry for the writing. I'll tell you all about that in a sec, but usually it's Copenhagen and Grizzly. But Red Man decided to rock the, the, the camo this year. So as you saw that writing, greetings from, and then right here it's supposed to say Texas. I was just out of Texas, as you guys know, and you've seen all the freaking videos I put up uh, the past week or so down there hunting and fishing or whatever. And um, we did a meet and greet while I was down there. As y'all saw, we got kicked out of Bass Pro Shops. <laughs> um, but uh, we had a kid there who came from Wichita Falls. This was the dude who came the longest. Um, came from Wichita Falls, Texas to Katy, Texas. So this dude uh, wanted to give me something. We gave him a bunch of stuff, but this dude wanted to give me something. He gave me that camo red man. I didn't even know this son of a bitch was out. So, and it, it, it just feels moist and fresh inside, so we're gonna go ahead and get us a cheek of this son of a bitch. Now, I ain't done chewing quite a while on the vidges. Good thing with this, these red mans is they got the Ziploc now. So we're gonna go ahead and crack this, get ready for that raisin smell. YouTube's got smell-o-vision now, so get ready for the raisin smell. So they got this Ziploc here, so just, ooh, yeah. Open your legs, woman, yeah. Oh, I, oh so. Ooh, boy, I ain't smelled that in a while. I haven't had a red man in quite a while. Let's just quit our yapping and get to chewing. Let's get us a nice fat cheek here. Ooh, it's, it's not too bad. Very leafy. <laughs> Let's go over here in the right cheek. Mmm! Mmm! Should have packed this some bitch a little bit more. <clears throat> Got to pack two spit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get a little bit more in there, just a just a wee bit. There you go. Oh, I'm always making a mess with this shit. I practically have like white carpet in this gosh dang room. You should see below me. It's ridiculous all the damn dip that's spilt, chew that's spilt. Got a vacuum in here like once a day. Oh yeah, so we got the red man in our cheek. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's good. Now it's time to spit. Mm-hmm. 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 Cool. See how black that son bitch was? Damn! Brand new spiking mud jug and mud jug of the day. That is the on the road roadie. There it blows, ladies and gentlemen. This one just came out today on mudjug.com. And if you guys like this son bitch, I'm here to save you some freaking money. Use the code ROAD. I'm gonna get you 20% off your gosh dang order. Mudjug.com, ladies and gentlemen. Link is in the description, as always. Mmm. Ah! Speaking of mud jug, I put up a video myself over there on the mud jug channel as well today. So I put up two videos today. So once you get done with this one, if you ain't had enough of me, <laughs> that was being sarcastic, you can head on over to mud jug's YouTube channel and check the new video out. Starring yours truly. <laughs> Damn. Red man's a lot better than I remember. Holy shit. So back in high school, I had many different phases with dip and shoe when I was back in high school. I know a lot of y'all are in high school, so I know y'all probably going through a lot of the same things, right? And I started off with coping and long cut, right? That was like my first dip I did, and then I stuck with that for a while. Then I switched into Grizzly Wintergreen here and there. This is before coping and Wintergreen was out. Then I went to some Cope Straight. Yeah, you know, I just did pretty much everything. But for about four or five months there, all I did was chew. It was Red Man, and it was Levi Garrett. That's like all I did. I switched to Levi Garrett afterwards. I was sick of the raisiness, the taste of the Red Man, which I don't mind anymore as much. When I was younger, I freaking hated it. I hate raisins, like eating them, but Red Man and the chews that taste somewhat like raisins is what everybody says, you know? It's not too bad, I can dig that. 
<clears throat> but the Levi Garrett to me didn't have as much raisiny taste to it. Red Man is like the Copenhagen of Chew is the best way I can explain it. They got different blends too. You got Red Man Original, which I think is kind of like, you know, Copenhagen Snuff, right? And that, not like fine cut or anything, but you know, just, just in the, uh, just in the comparingness. Uh, you got this, this is like Copenhagen Snuff. You got Red Man Golden Blend, which a lot of people do. That's kind of like the Copenhagen Long Cut, right? You got Silver Blend up there too, which I don't know what you can compare that to, but I would say Red Man is probably the Copenhagen of Chew. Levi Garrett, in my opinion, is probably number two. I would probably dip, I, I'd probably chew... Red Man, I, I don't know, man. I'd probably chew Levi Garrett over Red Man. I still, I don't know what it is about Levi Garrett, but Levi Garrett's probably like the uh, the Grizzly or so, you know? Not as many people do it. Well, I don't know. Some people say the Grizzly's the, the bit sells more in Copenhagen. You know, who knows? I haven't seen them gosh dang numbers, but, uh, you know, they're close. Red Man, though, always been one of my faves. And now that they got the camo, man, that's freaking sick as tits! No, I had to rock that red man. Oh, oh snap! We even got the old outlaw hat pin up on this bitch. Keep it at <laughs> Oh! When you chew, for anybody that ain't chewed out there, you freaking spit so gosh dang like you just gotta suck the freaking juice out of it. Oh my goodness, it's so good. You just get so much flavor with chew. I freaking love it. Now, here's one thing I wanted to talk about real quick, okay? Chewing tobacco obviously is not as big as dipping tobacco. Everybody dips tobacco nowadays, ladies and gentlemen. All those gosh dang cans up there, I've dipped my freaking self. I love dipping. I'm not as big on chew and not a lot of people are. So my thing is all these companies like Red Man, stuff like that, I don't even know if they've tried to like experiment with, I know Red Man came out with dip a while back, remember that? They still got it out in some places, but have they ever tried to experiment with the chew and try to make it the flavor better, you know? Cause a lot of this chew, it tastes like molasses, you know, and that's where you're getting the black spit from or whatever. But uh, it's like, can they make a chew that's that tastes like Copenhagen Wintergreen? You know, which a lot of people dip. Can they make chew that tastes like Copenhagen Long Cut? Which a lot of people dip, you know what I mean? And uh, I wonder if they've ever tried that. Cause I, I seriously think a lot of people would start chewing more, you know? There's a lot of people that rather have it in their cheek um, it's a longer leaf, so, you know, some people just can't freaking hold the gosh dang dip in their lip, you know? So they'd rather have it in their cheek. I don't know. Let me know what y'all would like to see. Like, a flavor of dip. Like, I would really like to see... Uh, Beach Nut's got a wintergreen, but Beach Nut wintergreen's disgusting to me. I mean, I haven't had it in a few years, but that shit's gross to me back in the day. I, I couldn't stand it. So, I would like to see, you know, Red Man or Levi, somebody like that, you know, come out with, like, a wintergreen one that's actually really decent, you know what I mean? You get that freaking wintergreen, you know, you get the wintergreen freaking uh, buzz, you know, in your lip. I couldn't imagine that having my whole cheek. It'd be dick tits. I mean, that'd be good. So let me know in the comments below what flavor you'd like to see in some chew. Honestly, I I'd really like to start chewing more, man. You don't get the freaking... You know, you don't get the uh, the sore gums after you know dipping all day and stuff like that. So it's nice to switch to chew every once in a while. Give your give your gums a break. <laughs> when you really start sucking on this crap, it gets a little salty and gets in the back of your throat. Start making you cough. You see me ripping the gosh dang have a hillbilly freaking Christmas sweater, outlaw Christmas sweaters, outlaw ugly Christmas sweaters available now. Keep it hillbilly.com. Christmas is coming up, you sons of bitches. Get you some mud jugs, outlaw merch. <laughs> you know what it is. All right, well, uh, ain't really freaking sat here and talked to you guys in quite a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and kind of give y'all an update of what my schedule is here soon. So this weekend, actually tomorrow, I'm heading out to Jacksonville, North Florida, to meet up with my boy Bottleneck. Him and I are filming a brand new spanking music video for a new song that we got coming out that should be out to y'all soon. So that's gonna be exciting. I'm just gonna be down there for the weekend. We're gonna be running dogs. We're gonna be hog hunting. I'll be making sure to vlog all that some bitch. Hell, I've been putting up videos almost every gosh dang day. And some people still telling me that they ain't getting my videos in their sub box. Apparently, YouTube did something where they unsubscribed a bunch of people that were still like watching the videos and crap, and their 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 YouTube accounts were still active. So if you're watching this sub bitch and you ain't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that freaking button. Cause then every time I upload a video, it'll notify you or 
it'll at least show up in your sub box to where you can click on the bitch. Other than that, I'll come back from Florida on Monday. We'll have tons of videos up that week because uh, when I get back, I got to meet up with Dang again. We're going to finally get to 383 in the gosh dang truck. Right now, today's a beautiful day in Colorado. Would have been a killer day to do it today, but Dane's working, of course, so we couldn't do it. So we're going to have to wait until a weekend to do it. And uh, probably around Christmas, Christmas Eve is where we're going to be throwing that sub bitch in. Hopefully get her all tuned up and ready to go by the end of the freaking year. Christmas is coming up. I'm so excited for that. Going to be spending it here with the Outlaw family. And, of course, old Banjo. Got some special surprises, and maybe we'll do an Outlaw Christmas special this year. <laughs> Lots of exciting things coming up until the end of the year and, of course, going into the new year. So... Uh, keep subscribing. Keep following me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat. Keep freaking doing it because we're going to keep throwing shit up. Appreciate y'all watching. Of course, using the gosh dang on the road roadie today. Get you one, son. Mudjug.com. Spitting that gosh dang camouflage red man today. Ugh. Shit's good, y'all. If you ain't never tried Chew, you gotta at least try it once, y'all. Go get you a bag from your old Walmart or your gosh dang freaking tobacco store or your gosh dang gas station. Throw you in a cheek. Reckon that'll do it for me. Reckon that'll do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Outlaw and I'm out, y'all. In 25-8-366, no matter what you're doing, keep it freaking heel, Billy. See y'all on the Chew side. <laughs> Holler! Ah!